United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres is vowing to take action against any UN employee involved in, quote, acts of terror. This comes after allegations by Israel that some UNRWA staffers were involved in the October 7th Hamas attack that killed nearly 1,200 people. In a statement released Sunday, Guterres also promised a review of the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine refugees. However, he called on governments to continue supporting the UN body after at least nine countries, including Canada, paused funding. Since the start of the Gaza war, more than 2.3 million Palestinians have been relying on aid provided by UNRWA. Every UN body has become weaponized against the Jewish state exploited as an in instrument to aid in the elimination of my people. How symbolic it is, how symbolic is it that on International Holocaust Remembrance Day, it was exposed that UNRWA employees took part in the massacre. The Israeli war against UNRWA is not new. Israel has all the time been calling for the liquidation and dismantling of the UNRWA. And this explains the Israeli systematic attack on refugee camps, whether in Gaza or here in the West Bank. The accusations that Israel has made against certain staff of the UNRWA should have waited until investigation has come up with results. We were extremely shocked that certain number of countries have decided to suspend its aid or their aid for the UNRWA. The countries that have announced this suspension, their aid amounts to 70% of the annual budget of the United Nations Relief and Work Agency. This measure is extremely dangerous, and it is our hope that it will be reversed. This step simultaneously taken during the war in Gaza sends a wrong message. This, this is, there is a war against the Palestinian people. This decision is incorrect and should be stopped immediately. We urge all these, all these countries to repay the honor war because it's a humanitarian issue. It, it has been taken in a wrong time and we hope that they will come back soon to understand that the need of the, the people in Gaza and everywhere is a necessity for continuing living on this earth. The Norway is the life of the people. The Norway is the one who is going to give us after the war. It's hard to give us to the people. The situation that we are in, and the situation that we are in, is the support of all the world. Today, the world is responsible for the situation that we are in. هو العالم اللي بقطع عنا اليوم المساعدات بقطع عن الأطفال بقطع عن بقطع عن النساء ومش بس الغذاء لعلمك مش بس التجوية كمان بيقطعوا الدواء بيقطعوا يعني يعني لهم خطر يقطعوا عنا الهواء أيضا ما ما شو ذنبنا إحنا كشعب فلسطيني شو ذنبنا أرضنا احتلت حرب دمار ما لناش بيوت عايشين لاجئين حروب كثيرة مرت علينا وهذه الحرب الأسوأ اللي بتمر. أونغوا suffers from chronic underfunding which impacts the quality of our services. Upholding refugees' right is not only the responsibility of humanitarian and development actors, it is a responsibility shared with donors and host countries.